What's up guys, welcome back to the channel. Hope you guys are having an amazing day. We got today a video called the seven wonders of the Philippines. I'm not sure what they are. This just popped up on my recommended feed and I was like, yo, I think this would be a cool video to check out. So I'm going to be checking this video out. Um, as you guys know, probably like I think like two weeks ago, I checked out like a video of like an introduction to the Philippines. So you guys want to check that one out too. You guys can. But yeah, this is kind of like a continuation of that. So now we're learning about the seven wonders of the Philippines. So let's hop right into it. Seven wonders of the Philippines. The Philippines is an archipelago of more hey, than Hey, I remember those are the islands, chocolate hills, right? Offering countless natural I think I remember wonders. that from the last video. And what's a better way to experience those than to visit the place? So hold on tight and fasten your seatbelt as I take you to a virtual trip to the I got no wonders seat of the Philippines. Welcome to Seven Wonders of a Country series. This is the Life Hack Lion, the channel that gives you amazing life hacks and interesting facts. Make sure to watch this video till the end because you don't want to miss the gem <laughs> of the film. Why does she look like that? She's like... <laughs> Number 7. Hundred Islands National Park. Hundred Islands It is National. composed of mainly 124 islands scattered in the Lingayen Gulf covering an area of 16.76 square kilometers. Hundred Islands National Park is Damn, popular like a lot of islands. its magnificent natural geological formation. Located in Alaminu City, Pangasinan, the islands also feature sand beaches and forested inland. Hundred Islands is about two million years old and are said to be ancient corals That's a that extend dope well in in an area previously comprising the seabed of an ancient sea. Due to the low Bro, I would love just to go chill on one of those islands, man. I feel like it'd be so peaceful. During of the sea level, these corals were exposed to the surface and became the Hundred Islands. As a tourist destination, it is ideal for swimming, diving, and snorkeling. This natural park also has rich biodiversity and is home to crab-eating macaques, Fraser's dolphins, sea turtles, reticulated pythons and so much more i do not the like best snakes part is that majority <laughs> of the islands are not commercialized and are still unspoiled so you will truly witness pure beauty of nature i bet number six tubataha reefs natural park situated in the oh. middle of the sulu sea tubataha reefs natural park is a world heritage site which as an atoll <sighs> reef with a very high density Bro, i'm not gonna lie just being like at the ocean would be like super dope to me because i've only been to the ocean one time in my life it was really dope like there's something about the ocean that's just like really cool to be at and like listen to and everything of marine so i'm hoping that i can go to this visit the ocean area again. was discovered in the late 70s and has become the most remarkable coral reefs on the planet it is one of the top dive sites in the world for its extraordinary biodiversity and breathtaking underwater scenery. This national park is indeed a dream of any divers from clean waters, I think scuba lots diving of would be cool. and diverse. I don't know. Life. Actually, mm, I don't know. I, I mean, scuba diving is kind of cool, but like I can't swim really, so I don't know if I'd be good with scuba diving. And I'm kind of afraid of like, you know, like sharks and stuff. So I don't know. Life. It also offers divers more than a dozen dive sites to explore, where incredibly beautiful, healthy corals and pelagic like manta rays, whale sharks, barracuda. You know, one thing that I find very fascinating about like ocean life is just how many different types of fishes there are in like, you know, sea creatures. Like some of them be looking very weird. <laughs> like I'd be like, is that actually like a real like, you know, sea animals? Like they'd be go looking crazy and tuna thrive but they're really cool to check out don't worry because you can still catch a glimpse of this pristine coral reef by snorkeling number five chocolate hills, yeah, chocolate hills. it Let's is go. the most famous and one of the flagship tourist destinations of the philippines located in the middle of the island of bohol chocolate hills consist of at least 1268 hills over Damn. an area of more than 50 square kilometers that At the end crazy. of the dry season, the famous hills earn their name when the grass turns from green to brown. At all times, they retain a uniform look with no trees or clumps of shrubs growing on them. The hills are not huge. It's crazy. The highest one barely reaches 120 meters in height, 
and are 30 to 50 meters apart. Mystery still surrounds how this extraordinary landscape was formed. Yeah, According I mean, like, legend, yo, like, how did this even, like, form? Like, it's so, like, weird, but, I mean, it's super dope, though, too, like, there were like two giants fighting for days and hurling earth and stones at one another, forming the beautiful landscape of Chocolate Hills. However, according to geologists, the hills are weathered formations of a marine limestone lying on top of an impenetrable clay base. Whatever their origin, this magnificent landscape is truly a wonder. Definitely Number is. 4. Hinatuan Enchanted River Chucked in the river. forests of the province of Surigao del Sur, in the island of Mindanao, the Hinatuan Enchanted River is one of the natural wonders of the Philippines. It is famous for its unusually clear blue. If you guys hear someone eating right now, it's my dog right next to me. I don't know if the mic's picking it up or not. Waters, mostly centered in the blue lagoon and seems to get more alluring the longer you stare at them. It is around 80 feet deep saltwater river that flows into the Pacific Ocean. This beautiful river is largely unexplored and its mysterious depths have led to various stories of it being dwelt on by mythical spirits. According to folklore, during the night, fairies, pixies, and mermaids gather to play and sing around the waters. Hence, its popular name, Enchanted River. It's a beautiful Another enigma about this magical place is the different varieties of fish in various colors. Every afternoon, everyone is asked to exit the waters and a tune called the Hymn of Hinatuan is played. Then a large school of fish will surface out of nowhere and no one knows where they come from or where they go. Then they are fed by the staff members. This mesmerizing, almost surreal display continues for about an hour during which no one is allowed to enter the water. Since its rehabilitation in 2017, swimming has been prohibited. It's actually really in interesting. Lagoon, but you can still take up a designated area 10 meters away. Number three, Banawi Rice Terraces. It is a 2,000-year-old terraces that were carved into the mountains of Ifugao. Banawi Rice That's Terraces so, was built like, largely by him, weird, but cool. making it a natural wonder that combines the harmonious interaction between people and its environment, creating a breathtaking landscape of great aesthetic. This spectacular landscape Ew. is well preserved not only due to its vital role in tourism, but also the social and economic well-being. Yo, I want to know, like down in the comments, have you guys actually visited like any of these wonders before? Because I know a lot of you guys live in the Philippines. Let me know down in the comments, like which wonders you guys have visited. Like until now, such, locals still so plant dope. rice and vegetable on the terraces. This UNESCO World Heritage Site is described as a memorial to the history and labor of more than a thousand generations of small-scale farmers who working together as a community have created a landscape based on a delicate and sustainable use of natural resources. Truly, the rice terraces stand as a testament to ingenuity, culture, and traditions of the people who lived in the Cordillera mountain range. Number 2. Puerto Princesa Subterranean Puerto River Princess. It is a protected area in the country which features a oh, spectacular like limestone karst landscape in an underground river. The site represents a significant oh, be kind of scary, not gonna lie. <laughs> conservation and boasts a full mountain to sea ecosystem. In 2012, it was officially confirmed that the Puerto Princesa Subterranean River is one of the new seven wonders of nature. The cave inside this UNESCO World Heritage is one of the largest cave rooms in the world and stretches for a total You know, that would be really dope to go in, though. I ain't gonna lie, like, that type of stuff, that... Four that would be really dope. Long, ...flowing directly into the West Philippine Sea. The river system was created millions of years ago as water channeled its way through the rock, creating a series of vast chambers and caverns. The river and caves are home to a complex ecosystem with many of the species found are endemic to the river system. And last but not the least, What's number up? one, Mayon volcano. volcano. It is an active volcano situated active. in the province of Albay and renowned for having an almost perfect cone. 
because of its symmetrical shape. Mayon is Bicolano language that it's means huge. Beautiful. It's like a bug. Definitely, the clouds. this majestic cone is the most picturesque natural wonder of the country. Mayon volcano covers an area of 5,775.7 hectares, which includes its adjacent surroundings. Rising more than 2,000 meters crazy. above sea level, Mayon volcano dominates the flat plains of Albay. That means you can see its mesmerizing beauty even when you are in the neighboring towns. However, it takes some patience to witness it in its full glory, and it is usually covered in clouds. That's what According I say. to local belief, if you can see the whole of Mayon volcano, the moment you step in Albay, it's like the nature telling you you are beautiful. Aside from the breathtaking scenery, you can also avail of an all-terrain vehicle or an ATV tour to see the volcano's crater. At the top, you will be struck in awe at the panoramic view of the surrounding Ooh. towns in the Pacific Ocean. Bro, imagine going to like the top of that. You could get some, oh my god, like the, like the photos you could take on top uh, would not match any, like those would be like beautiful pictures. Do you know some other wonders of the Philippines? Or do you have any requests for our next video? Wait, hold on. Know? Hold on. Let me go back to that. I want to see that view again. Wait. Up, you will be struck in see the volcano's crater. At the top, you will be struck in awe at the panoramic. Bro, look at this. Oh my god. It's like you're like. It doesn't. Like, from this view, like, from this view, it looks like you're like in a whole nother world. Like, I don't know, because the clouds are covering, like, the land. And so it doesn't look like you're, like, on planet Earth right here. Like, that'd be, like, so freaking dope. This was a freaking great video to check out, man. Like, I was very fascinated checking out the seven wonders of the Philippines. Cool to learn about all the different stuff that's, like, out there in the world that, you know, I have never known about in my life. Like, the only thing I know is about, like, what's happened in Kansas, basically, because that's where I live. Mostly where I live at in Kansas, you basically just see like farmland and that's about it. But yeah, it was really cool to check this video out. Let me know down in the comments if you guys got like some videos that you guys know of or have watched that are really cool to check out about the Philippines or about, you know, any other type of country in the world. If you guys are new to this channel, you guys want to stay tuned for more reactions like this, make sure to hit the subscribe button, hit the bell down there so you can be notified when the next bangers drop. I'll catch you guys in the next one. I freaking love you guys. Peace.